Hello and welcome. We are here in the Madison Lake Highlands volcanic area again. This is a location that is called Deep Caves. And this is just a, um, on the walking distance from the Jotdin Ice Cave that is uh, well known in this area. Um, very well marked, so easy to find. But from that cave, if you walk, just, so from Jardin Ice Cave, if you walk further north in the direction of Madison Lake, you will come after a few minutes in this area that's called uh, Deep Caves. And here you will find <coughs> several uh, tubes. Most of them were too narrow to try to get into. I've shown you some of the, the lava tubes in my other videos, so I've already been in them and unless I find one that is really tall enough, I just uh, leave them be for now but like this one this is a nice one to crawl through if you were so inclined it's uh, just big enough to crawl through so just be aware to wear some knee pads or something which i typically don't have so that's another reason for me not to get into these really small ones anymore. Anyway, my aim this time was to find one of the deep caves again. There should be four, I think, in this area. I found one previously, and here I just found a second one. The one that I found previously, I was able to walk through. It had a big entrance like this one, and then as I found my way through the darkness, I found a very small exit point that I could get out of. So this one, I was curious if I would be able to walk through this one as well. And as you will find, I did find an exit point, but it was just too narrow for me to try to get through. Especially these rocks are sharp and um, there's a very narrow opening. It's, it's not something you want to try to... Um, wrangle yourself through so anyway I've made my way inside here as I say so many times it's uh, very difficult to get a sense of scale all these blocks like you can see from the camera movement that I'm navigating big rocks as I'm going deeper in the cave. So these rocks that you see on the ground level, they are between, shall I say, two and three feet in width and height. So you're looking back at the entrance. You can still see the light coming in. But you can go even deeper.
So compared to, for instance, Jot Dean Cave, this one is mm, a bit more difficult to navigate. Um, bigger blocks to try to get around. And you may see from time to time, yeah, there in the distance, distance, there is a glimmer of light now on the left. So I knew there was an exit somewhere. That's why I went deeper in trying to find that. See there? In the top you can now see there's light coming in. So I'm still trying to go deeper, find uh, the exit. But it's getting already <clears throat> more and more narrow. And from here you cannot even see the light coming in. It's uh, We'd have to go past this big rock. There at the top you can see the sunlight coming in, but there was not, didn't look like there was a, a way to get there because it's, there was not a straight um, passageway. So here I'm turning around, it was more um, like a zigzag around the rocks and <clears throat> didn't look like I would be able to make that. I'm pretty lean, but I'm also pretty tall, so I decided to turn around. See again, there is the light, sunlight coming in, but it's not a place that I was likely to worm my way through. So turning around and going back the way I came. Giving me more opportunity to look at the walls and the rocks and how this is being um, the formations, what it looks like. Some places it's really just solid rock, other places it looks much more like a, like a patchwork of rocks. And you can also see by here, looking at the ceiling, that if you go inside these caves, you ideally should wear a hard hat, because these are all loose rocks, blocks, stones that can easily fall down, fall down at any time, as is evident from everything that's on the, on the ground level here. But here we can already see the, the entrance again. Light pouring in.
So this cave here at this point, what shall it be? I think 30, 40 feet wide. And some this point, maybe some 20 feet under the ground level. It's always a matter of just trying to find a path to get out of get out again. Like finding the natural stairway with the least effort. So anyway, this was one of was one of the caves in the deep caves area in Medicine Lake. Medicine Lake Highlands Volcanic Area, Northern California. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Bye.